Okay. I don't know why I'm nervous now. <laughs> I'm not even the one being interviewed. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, everyone ready? Give me a thumbs up if you guys are good to go. Cool. Okay. Welcome everyone to this uh, podcast. I My name is Alex and uh, my co-host here is Sierra and we are here with the LA Notes. Um, these guys have been creating music together for the past five weeks. Um, they've grown uh, exponentially since the first day that we met them. Uh, they're super fun, super awesome to work with and we're excited to bring you guys some content today where these guys are all going to answer some questions that we have prepped for them. Uh, about their experience with uh, the program, with Notes for Notes, with the Higher LA program, um, and a little bit of the background and a little bit of insight on the two original songs that they created, um, Two of a Kind and Life of the Party, uh, that these guys wrote from beginning to end, a completely original fire tracks that they have created. And uh, yeah, we're excited for you guys to all hear them. And this is a little bit of background. We're gonna start with um, everyone introducing themselves uh, if you guys could just share uh, your name, uh, what grade you're in, and then just your musical specialty. So uh, whatever your area of expertise is, and we will start with Micah. Hi, uh, I'm Micah, and I'm in 10th grade, and my musical specialty is being an artist and a songwriter. Very, very cool. We'll follow that up with Alicia. Um, my name is Alicia. I am in 12th grade and I play sports. Very cool. Sweet. Let's follow that up with Ashley. Hi, my name is Ashley and I am in 12th grade and my musical specialty is a singer. Yes, yes. And Hector. Hi, my name is Hector and my musical is, oh, I'm in, I'm a freshman. I'm in ninth grade in high school and my musical specialty is mixing. Sweet. Got an engineer in the house and Michaela. My name is Michaela. I'm in 12th grade and I'm a singer and songwriter. Super cool. Yeah, so this is the group, the five members of the LA Notes, five notes. The, I was going to say pentatonics, but that's taken already, so we can't say that. Um, sweet. All right, so we're going to start with a couple questions, as we mentioned, uh, get to know the group a little bit more, you guys in, as individuals, and in terms of how you guys work together. So the first question is, and this is, uh, what has your experience been working as a group? What do you like about it, and what do you not like about it? And we'll start with Micah. My experience working with the group has been very fun, insightful, and a great learning process. And I really, like, love how everybody gives, you know, like, their all attention and, you know, their feedback without criticizing others. And I don't really have anything that I don't like about the group. For sure. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Micah. Awesome. And then, Ashley, why don't you follow that up with uh, maybe your thoughts on that as well? Um, my experience working with this group is, has been amazing. I feel like everyone here is very fun. And, yeah. <laughs> for sure. So it sounds like pretty, pretty good experiences. Everyone gets along, which is important, obviously, for the sake of teamwork and uh, activity or group activities like this. So that's, that's awesome to hear. Uh, from you guys. Now, I'm sure that all of you guys have changed as individuals from the beginning of this program versus towards the end. Uh, and as a result, the group has also evolved over time. So I would like to hear a little bit of uh, some thoughts in terms of how the group has changed. Maybe think about some things uh, maybe you guys ran into in the beginning uh, or certain things that maybe weren't working properly or that were a certain way that are changed or different now, whether that be for the better or for the worse. Um, and giving us a little bit of insight and information on that. Uh, we got Miss Michaela. So the change um, from the beginning from us starting has been huge. Um, we didn't know where to start, what to do, what notes to put in there. And now that we learned and 
we continue after doing our second original song, we have gotten better and we got quicker at getting our lyrics down, our notes down, and assigning roles to the song. For sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, like Sierra and I have both seen your guys' growth and uh, I think especially in the confidence department, I think that's something that maybe a whole, a lot of times we don't, uh, uh, you know, maybe we don't see in ourselves, but we can both um, see how much you guys have improved in terms of confidence. You guys are just way more down than ever to throw something on a track or share your ideas and stuff. And I think that's the most rewarding thing for us is to see how you guys have gotten more confident with each other um, and with yourself and just sharing you guys' ideas. Um, uh, I don't know, Sierra, if you have anything to add to that. Um, yeah, anything that you've observed in your in your time with our group. <laughs> yeah, Alex, I think you said that super well. And I was just going to say, it's been so interesting. Um, when we put together groups like this, we never really know how like different members are going to mesh together and how they're going to collaborate and who's going to step into what role. Um, so it's cool that by the end of the five weeks, we've all kind of um, built these relationships with each other. But throwing it back to the beginning. Oh, no, sorry. Um, Actually, this isn't in the beginning. This is just now. Um, we would love to hear from you guys. Like, if you could use one word to describe each of your team members, what word would you use? I think it might be easier. Do you think it'd be easier to ask one person to do everyone or to like highlight one person at a time? Yeah, I think just one, one, each person could just go through and just describe everyone with one word. Okay, awesome. Sweet. So, I mean, let's start it with Micah again, our first volunteer. Thank you, Sierra, for letting me go off first. And I guess I would call Sierra funny and goofy because she always makes us laugh. And Alex, uh, Alex is goofy too on his own, but like he's more of like a parent role. So, I don't know. I call him an advisor, sort of. Hector, he, he's just. He's silly too. Ashley, I don't know. She she has this charisma. I just you want to call her talented. And Kayla, she she's spectacular. Alicia, she's great. Awesome. Oh man, really well said. I like that word charisma for Ashley. Um, thanks for sharing that. Um, Alicia, uh, could you share a word about each of the group members? Um, Sierra, you're goofy. You're funny, and Alex, uh, you're goofy too as well. Um, Micah, you have a great talent in your voice when you rap. Um, Michaela, I love your voice when you sing. Um, Hector, you're a good rap too, and Ashley, you have a wonderful voice. Oh, that's sweet. I love how you guys have all like just gotten to know each other over the course of this time. Um, and it's crazy to think that five weeks ago we like didn't know each other at all. Um, but Ashley, would you like to go next? So Sierra, I think you're like really funny and very beautiful. And Alex, you're like super nice. And I guess you're like funny. <laughs> And Michaela, I'm girl, you're very beautiful and I just love your voice. And Micah, I love how you rap and you're just amazing. And Hector, you too. And Alicia, you're amazing. <laughs> and wow, I guess I'm the funny one. <laughs> three for three. Um, sweet. I'm for three, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hector, Hector, would you like to go? Oh, sorry, man. I think you're muted. Could you unmute yourself? I think you're cutting out, I'm man. sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, let's see. Let's start off with Sierra. Uh, Sierra, uh, if I could describe her in one word, it would be characteristic. Uh, Let's see, Micah, uh, one word, it would be really cool, really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, with Alex, he's very, very chill. He's done a lot as well. Uh, with Alicia, we've, um, she's pretty cool. 
She's pretty nice. And then with Ashley, she's also nice. She's pretty nice. With I'm saying nice a lot. Um, pretty cool. And then with Michaela, she's a good person. Just everyone here is, everyone here is a really good person. Like everyone here are good people. I can't speak. I'm sorry. If you get what I mean. Thanks, Hector. <laughs> we love you, Hector. Um, so would you say that everyone here is nice? Just want to clarify. Of course. Just want to clarify. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't sure, but yes, just make everyone sure. here is amazing. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I can't speak right now. <laughs> That's okay. Cool. Thanks for sharing. And Michaela, we'd love to hear from you as well. All right, I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna do the kids first. <laughs> so Alicia, <laughs> Alicia, you're shy, but you like you're super cool. Micah, you're laid back. Um Hector, you're very chill, and Ashley, for me, you was like this, so, you know, <laughs> we automatically see eye to eye, um, Sierra, you are just a vibe that I would love to be in all day, <laughs> and Alex, you're like the party pooper, but you want to have fun too, but, <laughs> but you're also goofy, so I was like, you're, you're a lot of things. Hey, we get we get stuff done, all right. We get stuff done. I'm I'm the one that gets the stuff done around this place. Good cop, I, bad cop, right? Yeah, not all of us <laughs> can have all the fun, right? That's all right. No, with it's me. fine. No, we wouldn't be where we are without Alex. Uh, hold it down the front. Seriously, I would have had fun playing games for the, all five weeks. So I'm glad we've had Alex as part of this team. Alex is gone now from the video. Um. I don't know where he went, so I'll ask the next question. Um, so yeah, we've. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I was. I was getting interruptions. We were, you know, we were going under a tunnel. <laughs> cool. I'll let you take it from here, then, Alex. Uh, all right, guys. So let's talk a little bit about the songwriting, because um, obviously you guys did a lot of that um, throughout these past five weeks. So. I want to ask a couple of you guys, what was your favorite part about the songwriting process, right? There's a lot of things that go into it. There's the arranging, getting all the instruments um, uh, down. There's the actual like lyric writing. There's all those different parts. So what was your favorite part? And we'll start with Hector. Um, what was your favorite part of the whole process? My favorite part about the whole process was not only being able to work with other people, but like it, uh, more the more hands the merrier because like if we were to do this on our own I feel like I wouldn't have been able to do this at all because I can't even think of anything but like when we all did it we started from scratch and we just I don't know um, what I'm trying to say here is that I think we all work together better so this was a really cool journey and you can't say that about every group, right? I'm sure you guys have been put in a group at school or wherever, and you're like, oh, my God, I'd rather do this by myself. <laughs> well, so, yeah, this that it just depends who you're working with. And everyone I worked with here was good. Definitely. So that just, again, attests to how great of a team you guys are. So awesome, Hector. That's um, uh, a great comment of yours to make. And Ms. McKayla. Thank you. My favorite process of the writing, just in general, um, I like the whole process, me personally, but my favorite one was probably getting everybody's ideas down on paper and then picking which ones we're going to choose for that song. Cool, yeah, and there's a lot of that that goes on, especially when there's like a big group like this. Um, I think this is the first time that I have personally been in like a writing, well, that's a lie, it's not the first time, but it's one of the first times that, uh, you know, whenever you find yourself in a situation with so many people uh, songwriting at the same time, it's just going to happen. Some people are going to come up with multiple ideas for the same part. And I think I can attest for all of you guys, they, all of you guys played it super cool. Whenever one of your ideas, you know, whenever Sierra or I or somebody else gave some feedback and told you guys, like, Hey, you know, maybe this can be a little bit better. You guys all took it so super cool. Nobody, you know, got offended or anything like that. You guys all took it with the, um, you know, with the intention of we're just trying to make you guys better. So I, I appreciate that of you guys. Um, and uh, I think it, uh, it definitely helped us all work together really, uh, really well. Um, cool. So Sierra, I'll kick it back to you. Yeah, I would totally agree with everything he said. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the first song, Two of a Kind. 
Um, as you guys know, but our listeners don't, Two of a Kind was the song that I was not here for because I had to step out of the office for a week. Um, so I really don't know much about it, and I'm really excited to hear. Abandoned. Um, <laughs> I got banished forever for a week. Um, inside joke. Anyway, so, um, yeah, Michaela, you were talking a little bit about how, like, the songs kind of started. So with Two of a Kind specifically, where did the idea of the song come from? Um, Ashley, would you be able to? Yeah, so first, um, we just started brainstorming, you know, and we were thinking of like, what topics we could write about, like love songs or like heartbreak and all that. And we ended up going with um, a love song. So that's how it started. <laughs> Cool. And Michaela, would you be able to expand on that a little bit? Yeah. Um, so like Ashley said, we decided to do a love song, but Micah was actually the one that gave us sad vibes. And <laughs> he basically gave us the whole concept of the song. So that was like really, really dope. That's so cool. Um, I love a good sad song. So this is perfect. So Micah, we'll actually hop over to you. Could you take us a little bit through the timeline of the song, like the process, um, what it's about, like, yeah, just a little bit of like the inner makings of it. Oh, okay, so, well, at the beginning, we was all just throwing thoughts and ideas out there, you know, because we wanted to listen to everybody's, like, their opinion and what they wanted, so. Um, I'm pretty sure that, like, we all, like, just, you know, took everybody's stuff, and the majority of people has, like, was talking about making a song about love right and I was like what can everybody reminisce to about love and that's heartbreak because you're gonna find it and you're gonna lose it so I decided and you know we all decided as a group that we would incorporate that into our next song yeah for sure I can that was deep man yeah that was real deep I was gonna say wow you're putting me in my feels right now and I haven't even listened to the song in this moment um Cool. What about like the timeline of it? Like what, what was the process? Like, did you guys build the track first? Did you get the lyrics out? Um, can you tell me a little more about that? Oh yeah. So we learned from Alex and you know, everybody else that to, in order to like make lyrics, you have to have a foundation to build it on. So we first we talked, then we like got the beat in there. You know, we started adding random stuff. We found stuff that clicked like this. And then like we started adding lyrics lyrics onto it as soon as we found the beat and when we did that we just went over it you know look what we saw this could be better we swapped that out changed it it was better and then you know we got the end result and i would say that the end result came out amazing i was really happy when i came back from my trip and i found this fully completed beautiful song um that totally caught me in my feels. Yeah, I'm really proud of you guys. Um, that was really special to come back to um, because I mean, I had known you guys for a week before you launched into that project and then I dipped out and was like, oh, I wonder how this is gonna go, what it's gonna be about. And you guys totally blew me out of the water. Um, Alex, I'll give it to you. Yeah, you guys killed it for sure on that, um, on, on that first song. I think that's still one of like it's up there on like my top five all-time favorite songs that like I've made since being in this job so uh yeah I dig it a lot um so obviously as you guys are making a track especially a lot of you guys for the first time I think a lot of you guys express that uh some of you have never even made any music before like any original music or written something original in the past so obviously it was, you know, it's just expected that we were going to run into some issues, especially because we're working in a group. There's just so many, you know, factors that go into it. So what are some of those challenges that you guys faced? Um, and how did you overcome them? Uh, how did you guys get past them and keep moving forward? Uh, even when that when that happened? And Alicia, if you can kick us off um, answering that question. Um, to be honest, for the first song, I really didn't I wasn't really into it because, I don't know, it was too slow. And then how did we overcome them? The second song, I liked how we changed it. That it was like more hyped up. And I was really into it. 
For sure. Yeah. And that's totally okay. Cause that happens right again. That happens where we're all into different types of music and we're in, into different types of styles and stuff like that. So Alicia, I think that's really cool that you, you know, you saw that the majority wanted to go in that direction and for you to kind of be willing to kind of step back and let other people step forward, right. That, that maybe that was more of their style or more of their, their strength um, and be able to, to take it forward. So yeah, that, I think that's something that a lot of people maybe don't recognize or don't talk about sometimes. So Alicia, I'm glad you said that because that's a total reality that sometimes like, I mean, with me, I've been caught in projects that I'm like, I'm not really feeling the song, you know? Uh, so that's, uh, that's really cool for you to recognize. And then Hector, uh, what about you? Can you uh, elaborate on any of that? Some challenges, correct? Yes. And then okay. how did you guys overcome them? Um, some challenges that I faced for the first original is my voice. It was simply my voice and I still have that problem, but uh, as time grew, I overcame that, that peeve with everyone because of the support. Like the support helped me a lot throughout this. And I still think that I have a bad voice, but it's getting better just with everyone around. Uh, so let's see. And throughout the way we felt that like there were different vibes so we stuck to something and no matter how many tries it took we got there so yeah i feel like we did good yeah for sure that's cool hector that that's awesome to hear that you're you're getting warmed up to your voice man because we all like it i mean you uh you know you guys listening don't know but we've hyped up hector from the beginning uh with his uh with his rapping skills for uh, real in his voice so yeah that's cool Hector I'm glad you're finally starting to kind of believe us <laughs> thank you seems like we still got some work to do we're gonna keep convincing you all right yeah thank you and for all thank you. you he prefaced it before we heard him he's like oh yeah like I don't really I don't really know about my voice but I guess I'll try and he drops this like vocal take and we're all like Hector what are you talking about um <laughs> and so that's been a, that's been a really cool journey to see you on specifically and um a couple of other people in our group actually for that matter for all of you to grow in comfortability and confidence in your own voices um that's like a really special journey to be on yeah i just want to shout out ashley because ashley was in the same boat i'm gonna put you on the mm -hmm. spot ashley but everyone literally told ashley just like hector we're like what in the world are you talking about like with 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 the voice like that like you should not be tripping at all so both of you guys like we've seen the confidence that you guys have have grown in and uh yeah we couldn't be proud of you guys thank you yeah yeah cue the audience applause track right um <laughs> but with all that being said um uh we also want to hear like what you really enjoyed about the song like whether it be the song itself or the process um like we said there's always going to be highs and lows and we talked a little about the lows um but Alicia, did you have any highs? Like, is there a specific part of the song that you're like, oh, I really like this. Or I really like how this turned out um, or a part of the process that you enjoyed? Um, well, what I enjoy in the song is how um, Kayla and uh, the, I forget her name, Ashley, how they both combine their voice together nice. Yeah, definitely. Their voices do sound really good together, and it's something that's featured on our second song as well. Um, so you guys are in for a treat when you hear that. Um, and Micah, the idea came, uh, like, a bulk of the idea came from you. So with, like, what idea you had in the beginning and how it turned out at the end, like, is there a part that you're, like, really stoked on? Yes, there's like, like the whole song exceeded my expectations of what was going to happen. Or I what love that. Happen. Yeah, um, so like in the song, like as Kay was singing, you know, like two of a kind, you hear Ashley come in with this, this, this soft voice and it's just a line and you just hear it go straight through and it is just pleasing. Like when you just hear it in your head, you're like, I want to hear that again. So you just keep replaying it and replaying it. That's my favorite part. Wow, Micah is our new hype man. I love that. Um, 
it's so cool like when you're building out a song it's like awesome when you get like the right instrumentation and like the right tracking and stuff but when you get like the perfect vocal take to like totally encapture the like mood or emotion you're trying to get across that's like game over um so yeah i love that that was a really specific part that's awesome um alex yeah definitely you guys killed it on this song just i already said it earlier so i'm gonna try to avoid sounding like a broken record but you guys killed it on two of a kind um even despite a couple of challenges that i know you guys had to face um sierra and i as sierra already mentioned but i um was gone for just a little bit um you know uh and then sierra was gone for a lot of bit uh and so you guys kind of had to um throw me under the bus i guess (laughs) i know i'm just messing with you but uh no but, but you guys had um to um uh, have you know we had a couple other program directors come in and fill in for us um in the in the meantime while we were gone so we'd like to hear you guys' experience you know we understand that that probably made things a little bit challenging because you know you guys had to get used to different people through all of that um so i just wanted to kind of hear from you guys real quick maybe some of the things that were uh you know maybe difficult some of the things that were that were maybe good that you guys got out of it hopefully you guys you know got some cool ideas from from these program directors but we'd love to hear your experience uh we'll just start with Michaela. yeah um it was it was kind of like okay who's this like who's this um with sierra being gone and then alex was gone too so he was working with a whole bunch of people but it was a good experience actually um they bring a new look and a new um way to our sounding and how we sound basically they really helped um with definitely with the second song um they helped me anyway with the vocal range and how to reach that point and i think it went really well awesome awesome yeah i'm glad i'm glad to hear that even though it was challenging that you guys were able to get something out of it um and just like a fresh new perspective right because sierra and i have our own perspective our own thoughts but, uh, you know, shout out to Cam, to Russell, to Will, Nevade. Am I missing anyone here? I think that's everyone. Mike. Oh, and Mike. Yeah, Michael as well. Michael Gates. Uh, yeah, all of you guys for uh, for helping us out. Yeah, and, and, and covering and bringing in you guys' fresh ideas. Ashley, what about you? I agree with Michaela. I think it was great. You know, like, the people were cool. I did miss you guys, but, you know... <laughs> but yeah it was a really cool experience working with them yeah I definitely missed you guys too I was on vacation with my family and the whole time I was like wow of all the times to take a vacation I had to take it smack in the middle of working with this really amazing group um, but all that being said I'm glad we extended our program from four weeks to five weeks so I could make up that lost time with you guys um, and speaking of it's been it was a really cool experience to get to join you guys for song two for life of the party um i'm really glad and really grateful that i got to be a part of that um i know it's a little bit of a vibe switch we went from sad uh love song to a total rager party song um and so hector i'd love to hear from you like was there anything in song one that helped like anything that you learned in the process for song one that really helped you in the in the creation of the second song? Uh, what did you learn? Um, something I learned from song one that helped with song two was that it was just getting the rope of things. Cause in song one, it's like we were still kind of just learning about what we were gonna do and what we were trying to go for. That's why I went kind of slow, but fast, if that makes any sense. And it helped a lot with song two because when we were there, we were just brainstorming everything. And we, once we knew what we were doing, we were onto it. We knew what we were doing, we knew what we were going for, we knew what we were gonna try, maybe even find out new things. So uh, anything that I learned was just getting the rope of things, just getting used to how to make something. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we see that with any artist, really, you know, I don't know about you, Alex, but for me, the first time I work with a new artist, whether they're an experienced musician or not, that first song usually takes a while because we're trying to figure out each other's styles, each other's communication styles, the vibes that they're going for. 
Um, but then by the time you're on your second, third, fourth project, you guys know each other and it becomes more of a partnership, um, which, yeah, I think we totally saw that here in um, the process of creating Life of the Party. Uh, Thanks for the uh, excellent transition, Sierra. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you guys obviously learned something, hopefully, from the first song going to the second one. Um, so we're curious. Um, they Taking the things that you guys learned from the first one to the second one, um, how did you guys make, uh, aim to make the second song different? I know we've kind of mentioned the whole, like, sad song to party song, but what other ways did you guys kind of aim to um, just do things a little bit differently? Um, and we can go with, uh, with Alicia. Um, well, the first song, the only thing that was different from the first and the second song is that the first song was really, it was slow, and then, like, the second song, it was more hyped up and more you know, actual party, stuff like that, and it was, it was both was good, though. For sure, yeah, definitely. Micah, can you elaborate on that? Well, okay, um, I'm a big believer in, like, what you feel, that's how your music's gonna come out. So, like, everybody was feeling this song. We were happy about this song. The difference between this song and the last song is that the last song had, like, a love, you know, not working out. You know, it was, it was a sad song. But this song, this is a song that you can go in the club, get turned to, wake up the next morning, like, wow, that was the best time of my life, you know? And, like, I love how we just did that. Everybody was just happy. The mood, the vibe was coming together. And we created this masterpiece. And I love this song to death. I could not have said that better myself, Micah. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah, Micah, was, your enthusiasm is spot on. If I had not heard of the song, I'm officially listening to it, listening. I can't even talk because I'm just so hyped after after that that uh, inspirational speech you just gave, man. <laughs> Hyping up this song to the max, um, for sure. But uh, so as you guys went into the second song, what maybe new challenges that uh, maybe came up with this one? that maybe you guys didn't experience in the first from the first song what was difficult about this song and then how did you guys overcome these um and we can go with Michaela. um for the first song it was super easy for me anyways because i'm a sad girl vibe type girl i write sad songs all the time um me but, too, girl. <laughs> but when it came to the second song it was hype it was fast i'm like what am i gonna say it's too quick i need to catch the beat but Thank you to my team. I got the beat down and it came out really good. I should say so myself. Definitely. I would have to agree. Definitely would have to agree. Ashley, what do you think? Can you elaborate on that? Um, the first song I actually really liked because it was slow. And um, the second song, it was, you know, a little fast, but I tried my best. And yeah. For sure. Yeah. And would you say, and I'll just ask everyone, you guys can just kind of all answer all at once. Did you guys find the second song easier or harder than the first one? I think the second song was harder for me than the first one. The first one was really easy. For sure. Hector, what do you think? Easier, in my easier. opinion. Okay. Ashley? Easier. Easier. Okay. So this is a little mixed bag. Alicia? It was easier. Easier. And Micah? It was definitely easier. Easier. Maybe I'm just a sad guy too, but I'm with you, Michaela. I found the first one easier than the second one. I found the second one harder for sure. Sarah, what do you think? I mean, I wasn't here for the first one, as we mentioned yet again. Um, I get we're it. Just, we're just going we're gonna <laughs> to keep, <laughs> keep mentioning it so everyone knows at home listening, <laughs> Sierra was not here. Sierra was here in spirit. Um... No, I, if I, uh, uh, I, I would, <laughs> wow, okay, syntax exists, I know how to speak. Anyway, the second song I found to be um, quite challenging because I, in my days as a producer, have um, never really made like a dance party song like that. So there were elements that were new to me, um, including just like funky bass lines, like pumping synths, like, um, there's kind of a dynamic and a flow 
to a party song where you kind of have to keep the party going the whole time. And I think in my singer songwriting experience, you kind of have like the ebbs and flows of the story. Um, but to keep like a build up going and then have it lead to something that's totally worth it, um, that definitely stretched me to some of my limits um, in a good way. But uh, because of that, I did find the second song to be quite challenging, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. For sure, for sure, yeah. So different experiences, it seems like, from everyone. Some of you guys found it easier, some of you guys found it harder, and probably for different reasons, too. Um, so we're curious, right? We're uh, curious about your guys' experience. If you could kind of take some time to reflect and, and think about yourself five weeks ago versus now. Um, we'd love to know your guys' experience in the very beginning of the program. Is there anything that you struggled with, and what is it like now? Did you get better? Did you get worse? Hopefully not. Um, but you know, what are the changes that you guys have seen within yourselves from the beginning to now in the program? And this is going to be a question for everyone. Uh, we'll go ahead and just start with Ashley. Um, and we'll, we'll make our way around. Um, uh, at first I was really shy and I still am, but I mean, not as shy as I used to be because I wouldn't show myself, <laughs> but now I do because I'm more comfortable with you guys. But, um, I don't know, I guess, <laughs> I guess, like, year. as we started, like, you know, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know, I'm just comfortable with you guys now, so I'm not even shy. Totally. Would you say that the comfortability with us has, like, allowed you to, like, be more comfortable in your music as well? Um, like, to go for, like, vocal takes and stuff that maybe you wouldn't have attempted in the beginning? Yes. Yeah, I totally feel that. That's why I like to make a fun atmosphere so we can all like feel comfortable and confident. Um, and just like, I think the greatest advice I ever got from one of my bosses, Chris Lash, if you're listening, thanks homie, um, is he created an environment where he said, I just want you guys to be, to feel free to risk and to fail. Um, and because of that, like as an expectation from like my boss, it just created an environment where I could like try things. And if they weren't good, I didn't have to worry about like, oh, are people gonna think I'm bad at my job? Or in this case, are people gonna think I'm a bad singer if I like try this run and it doesn't work or a bad songwriter or whatever. Um, and I think that like my personal philosophy on that is it comes from a place of trust, which you build by being in relationship. So um, yeah, I'm glad that you're able to find that comfortability within our group as the weeks went on. Cause that's, that's all I care about. Well, and the music, but like, you know, the music comes from the comfort. To the, yeah. That word, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the music comes from you guys being comfortable uh, with you guys. So definitely I, 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 it does make me happy as well to know as you guys are, you know, you guys feel like you're in a fun place where you guys, you know, we can just kind of chill and just make some music together. Cause that's what this is all about. And that really is kind of one of our goals for sure of doing that. But yeah, let's hear from somebody else. What about you, Hector? beginning versus now beginning versus now um let's see from the beginning i i was still unsure if i wanted to be here or not uh in the beginning i was really very i was really shy i was very like i didn't want to really sh ex express myself like singing and how i look and etc i was really so it's not self-centered i don't know what the word is but I was really uncomfortable. Insecure. Insecure. There we go. I was really insecure Redeemed. of myself. Yeah. And as time passed, uh, I've been more comfortable. I, my insecurities have been less, if that makes sense. But like, um, I've been more comfortable around all of you guys now. So, as time passed, I got better. So yeah, I'm happy to be here. My experience has been great. We're happy you're here, Hector. Yeah, man, we're happy you're here. I definitely don't think this group would be the same without you. So I'm glad you stuck around. And I think that's really cool to know that, you know, you almost didn't want to be here at the beginning and that you do now. That's, yeah, uh, yeah man, I'm telling you, would not. I don't think the songs would have turned out the way that they did if you, if you wouldn't have been here. So we're glad you're here, man. Thank uh, you. I'm let's... glad to be here. <laughs> awesome, man. All right, Michaela um beginning me 
was like excited. I was ready to get to work, get my hands dirty. Um, I was really trying to feel everybody else's vibe. Low key, I was like, well, who is he like? Who is she like? But at the end of the day, um, me now uh, is very. Um, I look back on the beginning and I learned a lot. I learned how to uh, make my lyric writing stronger and how to write a song correctly. Thank you to Alex. <laughs> um, I really, uh, basically, I really learned how to have my songwriting and my singing, my vocals stronger than before I came. So I'm glad to you guys for helping me with that. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad I can help. Uh, I'm glad I can can help with that. And all of us, right? Sierra, Cam, Will, again, shout out to all those guys, you know, that you guys, that's, a, you know, apart from having fun, obviously, n none of that would matter if you guys leave here not knowing, <laughs> not learning anything. So I'm glad you guys are learning something. And I hope to hear more of your guys, all of your guys's music past this, right? I hope you guys can, can, you know, send me your guys's music in the future and be like, hey, check this out. I just wrote this you know, all by myself tapes. or whatever. Yeah. It's just show us all your mixtapes. So I'm looking forward to hearing your music, Michaela and everyone else's as well. Uh, Alicia, what about you? Um, from the beginning, I was shy. I was nervous. I really haven't been nothing like this before. And like now I feel way more comfortable and I like, I don't know, it's just more excitement, how we all get along and, you know, our vibe connects and we just make it funny. Yeah, that's it. You're welcome. For sure, yeah. That's, uh, Sierra can take credit for that. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> <I'd>... <laughs> oh, man. All right, Micah, finish this off, man. Last but not least. Ah, uh, oh, you even got to do me like that. But, um, when... When I started this program, like, I was very shy. Like, you might have not known it, but, like, I was very shy. I was, like, shaking in my boots. And, you know, I was assessing everybody. I'm like, who are they? What are they going to do? What's their style? I was just worried about everything. And then, you know, it all changed. As soon, like, I don't know what it was, like, a week into it with you guys. I didn't even care. Like, it was just, it was just such a fun, positive area you can come to. You always got Sierra making jokes. Alex, you know, trying to make jokes, but not succeeding, but we taught him, and, you know, it was just super fun now, hey, man. like, I feel like we've grown a lot as a group, you know, I really appreciate that. I mean, you guys probably see the dynamic here, these guys are not shy to just roast me on the daily, on, on the real? daily basis, man. I'm developing man. thick skin, though, it's all good, I cried the first couple of days, but it's, you know, I'm better now, I'm better now, I'm stronger. But honestly, Sorry. that's really funny. Like, you know, all of you talking about how shy you were in the beginning and now you are just blatantly roasting us on the podcast where it's going to be remembered forever for everyone to hear. Um, but, okay, Alex and I were kind of curious. Uh, do you guys remember what your first impressions of us were? Like, first day, first week, what you thought? You're like, oh, who is this chick? Um, <laughs> Individually, like, we want to like, know what you thought about Sierra, what you thought about me. Yeah. Um, Michaela, I saw you nod your head like immediately. I'd love to hear what you have. I'm on every wire, just y'all. Just us. Just okay. Us. All right. All right. All right. So for Sierra, I was like, she looks a little weird. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me sit back and watch. <laughs> let me sit back and watch. But then you were like, hi guys i was like oh she's nice okay let's keep going let's keep going whatever wait but, wait, wait so you thought i looked like just looked weird yeah you just, ha you just have a weird face <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> and then but then like as we got to know each other you're like super cool and then i missed you when you left us i was like i miss her yeah that's what i thought <laughs> and it's that effect on people <laughs> And then for Alex, I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, he's cool. I was like, I know he's the older one, the mature one, because Sierra is playing around. <laughs> but <laughs> Alex definitely made sure we got stuff done. Wait, and that's like, actually crazy, because I'm I'm four years older than Alex. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. No. no look at Alex's face. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, she's totally kidding. I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, but now that I know you too, like it's been like super like awesome to see what you guys are like every day, all day. So it's been cool kicking it with y'all. It has been a blast, Kayla. I reciprocate that 1000%. Um, does anyone have any other like lasting impressions from the beginning that they want to share? Because Kayla's right. Oh, Alicia, Alicia. Um, for you, Sierra, my first question, it seemed like you were a little bit like shy, but you was excited and you was goofy. And then for Alex, he was like, he was goofy too. He was just funny. Like he was just, his vibe was there. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody thinks I'm Dude, you funny. got one Thank funny you. point. I got one, Alicia. Dude. Dude, what is that? Sierra, like 200, Alex. One. Hey, but Alicia counts as a thousand, so technically I'm winning. Oh, okay. All right. That was really wholesome. It's funny that you thought I was shy. I had to go to preschool twice because I was so shy when I was little. So you're not actually very far off. And it's really funny because after I get off of Zoom, I'm very quiet. So you guys just make me funny Bring or out something. The best. Yeah, I guess so. Um, that's really funny. Ashley, I'd love to hear your impressions if you have them. Because I know uh, I'm your favorite, so. Duh, obviously. Now. False <laughs> cap. Well, when I first saw you, I thought you were low-key, like, I thought you were going to be the more, like, strict one and, like, kind of boring. So I was like, oh, she better not. But, no, you're honestly, like, goofy and, like, you're my favorite. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just, I'll, I'll just keep crying after. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then Alex, he seemed really cool. He kind of seemed like he was conceited. I don't know why. Like, he seems like one of those boys that are like, oh, my God, look at me. <laughs> No. no, no, but you're honestly I, like you're like really sweet and like you know you're cool. That's <laughs> funny. That's funny. I've never I haven't gotten that, at least not at this job. <laughs> Man, that's really funny. That is really really funny. Wow, Alex conceded. I'm trying to think back to my first impression of you. Did you think Alex conceded? I don't think so. I'm trying to remember. Did I meet you at the stu studio or did I meet you at Sonos first? Are we allowed to say no. brands? I don't know, but you met me um, at my studio, though, I'm pretty sure. Okay. No, I didn't think you were conceited. Uh, I was like, oh, man. I think I thought, like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Like, in a know. good way. In a good way. Confidence, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just line. felt like you were, like, super, like, sure in, like, your program and, like, your job. And you're, like, you were really nice. You're, like, yeah, if you need help, like, please let me know. And then here we are almost a year later. Definitely. Um, crazy. Hector, Hector, do you have any, any insights, any memories, impressions? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think because I can't remember what I ate yesterday. So let's see. Uh, with Same. Sierra, um, my first impression, at first I thought you were going to be kind of quirky. I don't know. It's just, I thought you were going to be quirky, but you're It's the like, curly nah. hair. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but, nah, I was completely wrong. You completely changed my mind into thinking you were quirky. You're a really fun person and a really nice person to just uh, work with. You're definitely someone to work with. if Like, in a good way, though. Like, in a good way. Not like... Uh, you're definitely someone to work with. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. No, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're more fun than I thought you were going to be. And then with Alex, Thanks. I thought you were going to be strict. I don't know why. I don't know. Ever since I saw that headshot, I thought you were going to be like, like, oh, I thought you were going. Oh, sorry. One sec. Uh, I thought you were going to be like just on it and everything and be like, you have to get this done or else you're out of the program or something. Um. But, like, you changed my mind as well. You're actually a really chill and fun person to be around. So even though we weren't around, you're a cool person to talk to. You both are. So both Thanks, cool Hector. people. You bring the best out of muted. us. I think I you gotta, muted yeah, us. Yeah, I was muted. I got to change my profile picture or something. No, man. no, it, like, it looks good. It I'm, looks I'm good. Off, I'm, I'm giving off conceited vibes. I'm giving off the <laughs> No, no, no. It's fine. 
The headshot no. looks good. Thanks, man. Thanks. It's good. It's good. Okay, Micah, that leaves you. What you got? Roast us. <laughs> In advance, I would like to say I am so sorry because you guys' outlook is, is going to be a little bad. So the first time we got here, Sierra, she didn't look that bad, but she started busting out laughing and nobody said anything. I was like, she's a little weird. But like, <laughs> I was like, she's a little weird. I don't, I don't know what that is. And then Wait, I when did I bust? Out, like, Wait, when did I bust I out know. laughing? When did you like not the- bust out laugh- laughing? Is okay, like- fair. <laughs> it was like in the beginning though. And like Alex, I just see him. I'm like, look at this guy with his 4K camera quality. Thinking he's <laughs> better with his camera. <laughs> And, Alex and, you know, the I'm just into photography, guys. That's literally it. I just I do videography and photography on the side. That's True. all it is. Yeah, I'm not trying to flex. I promise. <laughs> Shameless plug. Alex has great photography and video. Jawline showcase. Check it out. <laughs> Jawline showcase. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so basically, you know, I thought Sierra was a little weird, and Alex was, you know, going to be like, do your homework and don't come back. But, you know, it turns out Sierra, she has, like, this. She has this, we got to get work done side. And Alex has this, hey, let's play a prank on them side. So, you know, the longer we were with them, the more we got to see their personalities and, like, how they would handle different situations. And, you know, it was just super fun, you know. I like puzzles, and they were definitely a puzzle. (laughs) That's the best line of this whole thing. We just closed the podcast off right there. (laughs) Micah, you were born to be interviewed or something or be on a podcast. That was yeah. articulated so precisely. And you just kind of had that last, like, mic drop of a line of, like, puzzles. <laughs> Micah reminds me of the, they had us in the first half. I ain't going to lag. I know exactly what you're saying. We That's need to so transfer funny. ownership to Micah for this podcast. For Apparently. Sure. Yeah, you need a host now, man. Yeah, you are the host. <laughs> For yeah. Sure. Hey, I'll, I'll do it whenever, guys. <laughs> we would love that. Well, all this to say is that I think I can speak for both Alex and I when we say it's been an amazing um, five weeks with all of you. And it's so incredible to see where you guys started, where you are now. And we can't to see, can't wait to see where we... Wow! Sentiment ruined! We cannot wait to see where you're going in the future. Um, we would love to be a part of your future musical endeavors um, and anything you create, like send it our way. But yeah, do you guys have any um, plans for the foreseeable future, like songs you have in mind or um, musical paths you're going to go down? Um, Alicia, were you raising your hand? Let's hear it. Well, after I'm done with school, I was planning on going to college. And I wanted to be a doctor, but I, I want to be a doctor and I want to play sports. So I want, I'm trying to see which one I want to do. Really? Dude, that's yeah. amazing. A doctor, an athlete, musician, she does it all. That's, that's really incredible. I didn't know you were interested in being a doctor. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Hector, what's next for you, do you think? What's the next move? And this could be music related or not, but yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys convinced me. I think I'm gonna continue doing music because I've been looking into yes. music since yes. I was like ten, and no I never way. had the motivation to actually do anything. And then when I can't, like I was about to give up, and then I found out this summer thing, this job, um, and I wasn't sure i was about to quit and when i joined now you guys convinced me to keep on doing music so i'm for sure gonna be doing music that's awesome hector i can't wait to hear what you create yeah Yeah. thank you it's one small step for hector one giant step also for hector (laughs) thank you (laughs) um yeah we would love to be a part of that or even just be an extra ear for anything you create that's awesome dude we'll definitely be a part of it Yes, cool. Ashley, Miss Blossoming Vocalist, um, what about you? Where, where... I muted myself. Where do you think you're headed? <laughs> well, after high school, I'm planning on going to college and, um, you know, finding like a small job for now, you know, and I want to major in business. 
Wow, so. business. Do you think, um, wow, that's incredible. Do you think that you'll do any music in the future? Or do you think it was just like one summer to be a pop star kind of thing? Um, I feel like I'll still be into music, but who knows, you know? Yeah, definitely. Well, whether it's this year, next year, five years, you know how to reach us if you ever need any help or any insight. But you got the voice for it, Ashley. Keep saying Yeah, it. you really do. We'll hear you on the radio one day and be like, is that Ashley? Yeah. <laughs> You're already in LA. I mean, you got it. Yeah. You got it. the world is your oyster. Um, and of course, Micah, we would love to hear from you as well. Um, well, I don't know. I sort of, I sort of thought I had my future planned out, but like, I just like over time, you just think you, it's gonna change or something like that. Cause I, I like football. I'm like football is super fun, and I'm like, wow, if I can do football for my life, I'd be happy because it's a fun sport, right? But you know, sure. if anything, like, like if anything, living with my parents, you know, they taught me that you don't really have to stick to one thing. You can basically do whatever. So I'm probably going to be doing music stuff in the future. And Please do. Football. Definitely. I did yeah. both. I was an athlete and a musician for a while. So you got it. Yeah, Micah, don't stop, man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do both. Yeah, for I, real. I and you know, just help me out. What was that last part? Sorry. I would like to have you guys in the future, you know, helping me out and stuff. Uh, yes. Well, I don't know. I might be busy. I probably can't, but no, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, might yes. be busy on that day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Friend, all the jokes just come full circle. I know. Everyone's the same. Be like, what's so funny? We are. We're funny. Um, you guys are but, never going to be my first group, though. So, like, I don't want that to change. Aw. Uh, Thanks, Michael. We appreciate that. Yeah, we cannot wait to keep hearing what you've got in the future. Your sad songs, your party songs, and everything in between. It's going to be super fun to create with you. Um, and last but not least, Michaela. Um, so for me, um, I'm going to probably um, continue to do music. Of course, as you guys know, I write all the time. <laughs> that hour is all day long. So I'm probably right. And I'm really like really uh, focused and serious about actually getting in the studio and actually putting some stuff down. So. Yeah, definitely. There's a studio in LA for sure for you to hit up once it opens back up. You'll meet Ryan down there and he is awesome. Or if you want, come visit us up, up in drive up, dude. an SB. Yeah. yeah. Or Alex, we should drive to Ryan's studio and then tell them all to come in. Yes! Oh my God, that would be so fun, and I'm gonna definitely need to do a, a feature with Ashley. Me, and you need to do a song, and then I also need to do a song with Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm actually really down. We can, we can, we'll plan that out. Like we should do a meetup or something once this whole craziness. So <laughs> like that too. ice cream party though. Yeah, we'll oh, have like, in person. In -person <laughs> uh, ice cream yes. Party. Wait, are we actually doing it though? Because I need to be sure. Like, yeah, go shopping for your ice cream. For sure, for sure. Cool. Well, let's finish up here. Um, guys, thank you for spending time with us here today. This was Alex and Sierra and the LA Notes, a LA-based uh, music group that came together for five weeks and created two incredible songs. Um, you know, I had a cool punchline for the end of this podcast, and I totally forgot it. Uh, but anyway, it has been a blast. Thank you guys for sharing your hearts and your experiences and your insights and your impressions of us. That was a blast. And I'm definitely going to be discussing those with Alex after this. Um, She's going to be rubbing it in my face for the rest of it. <laughs> no, I'm not. You guys all said I was weird. <laughs> like, I'm going to be like, do I really give off the weird vibe? No, it's okay. <laughs> We're going to be so self-conscious from now on. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, Sarah, do I look conceited? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and we will catch you next time. Signing off. Signing off. This is... Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Adios. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>